Welcome back to Bonsai N. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the best and most accurate advice for your trees when you're asking for help. If you're new here, like, subscribe and share to help support our channel so we can continue making great content. When starting out in bonsai, we all have a thousand questions and as time goes on, it seems like we have a thousand more. Usually, people take to YouTube to watch how-to videos, go on bonsai forums and head to social media groups and venture out to their local bonsai clubs. These are all fantastic ways to gain information but there can be a few problems that you run into with each of these. Let's start with YouTube. YouTube is a great method of learning bonsai as it adds an element of visual demonstration that you just don't get from books. Books have pictures, but that picture is just one second in time. And you have to imagine what the rest looks like. The problem with YouTube is though, is generally you're watching someone work on their trees in their environment, and unless you live locally to that person, what they are doing or teaching might be entirely useless to you and your collection. Here at Bonsai N, we try our hardest to try and expand on points to cover most situations if possible, but this can be difficult. Okay, so what about bonsai forums and social media pages? I'm going to lump these two together as they are much the same. Sometimes these can almost be the worst place for advice but they are the most accessible for most people, so they are a mecca for people asking for and giving advice. One of the main th issues I see with forums and social media pages is bonsai bullies and elitists. I see it so often, someone asking a question and they get flamed by some hero with a keyboard or maybe someone gives someone else advice and the elitists will go after them. Nine times out of 10, from what I have seen, is people with this behavior believe in only what works in their area or what they have read or been taught. They are ignorant to other environments, species, horticulture and teachings, etc, etc. I myself have been hunted down by these types of people and it makes me laugh every time they write something and I can see their tunnel vision. Don't let these people ruin bonsai for you. So. How do you go about getting some decent advice on these forums then? The best way is to ask a proper question and to look at where the answers are coming from. You want to see if they took into consideration your situation. For example, the most common question I see is, what soil mix do you guys recommend? I usually follow this question up with more questions, such as, what species are you working with? What type of container are you going into? Are you in development or refinement? What is your environment like? Do you have a lot of humidity or is it arid? What soil mediums do you actually have available to you in your area? And how often are you home to water? If people don't know these pieces of information, they cannot give you an accurate answer. So anybody who responds with a soil mix, throw it out the window. Because even if that soil mix works perfectly for them, it may be disastrous for you. A better way to ask that question would be, Hi guys, I have a juniper banana that I have been developing and it's time to go into a bonsai pot. I live in an area with hot dry summers and will be putting the tree in a shallow container. I work during the day, 9 to 5, but I can water before I leave for work and when I come home. I'm looking to start refining the tree and gain small compact foliage. I can get access to most things such as Akadama, pumice, lava rock, scoria, perlite, zeolite, all that stuff. What would you guys recommend? With this information, more experienced people can help you a lot better, but still take their answers with a grain of salt, as most times you just won't know if they're telling you what they use or if they're actually helping you put together a mix, especially for your situation. Now, the best place to go for advice is your local bonsai club. I would 100% recommend this to anybody. The advantages are, you can see the work of the people giving you the advice. They likely live in the same area as you, and so the advice they give you will suit your tree and your environment. You can have a face-to-face -face conversation 
and through back and forth conversations, the questions and answers can be a lot more precise. And they can also recommend where to get supplies, locally, at the best price and service. The other great thing is that generally the people at local clubs and workshops are not internet heroes. They are just down to earth people who just love bonsai and love to help others. Now, for a bonus tip, and probably the one that will help the most. Learning knowledge and technique so you can have all the knowledge you need in your arsenal to make your own educated decisions without having to rely on what can sometimes be sketchy information. Now for a minute, this will sound like a shameless plug, but hang with me for a second. The best way to learn is to do some kind of formal education. YouTube is great, but most of the time it is vague. Take our own channel here at Bonsai N, for example. We do what I consider to be great videos covering basic information, but where the real learning happens is through our online masterclass series, Bonsai Courses. With this, we can have structured learning in which we can pick you up at where, whatever level you're at and take you through and continue teaching you the knowledge you need to know in the correct order of what and when you will need to know it. This way, you learn in-depth knowledge on subjects such as soil mediums and how to choose your own mix. You can also be sure that the information you are getting is correct and you can see live examples of trees to ensure that when the knowledge is applied, it works. I will leave you some links in the description below so you can check them out. I hope this video has helped you understand how to ask proper questions and how to determine if the answer given is an accurate one. Until next time, enjoy your bonsai journey.